Welcome to Pendulum Dowsing and Tarot Reading with Lyman Holton. So you're here for your daily tarot reading. That's great. To move things along quickly for you, you can glide your cursor along the timeline at the bottom of this screen and when you see your zodiac sign pop up, that's where your reading for today is. So it'll save you a little bit of time because there's 12 zodiac signs and 12 readings for each day. All right? So without further ado, let's get started. Are you ready? Hi, Aries. Here we are. It's Sunday. Let's see what we can do with the cards. Get a little enlightenment going on. Got the old Lenormand cards off to the side and the tarot cards are all ready. Got the cloth put up here. And we're, we're ready to rock and roll. Let's see what's going to be forecast for Sunday for you. And your card is the Ten of Pentacles. Think legacy, wealth, family money, inheritance, tradition, and retirement. The Ten symbolizes the successful completion of a journey. The accumulated wealth can be enjoyed by the entire family. There you go, Aries. Now, let's see what we have for a little added input from the Lenormand cards. Okay, we'll get you nicely embedded in the cards. Aries for Sunday. And your primary card, Snake. The defining card, Anchor. These cards speak to long-term problems, insecurity, instability. All right, put these with your tarot card, and you have a beautiful Sunday, Aries. See you tomorrow. Welcome, Taurus. It's Sunday again. Let's see what the tarot cards have to say about that. get you embedded in the cards. Taurus on Sunday. And your card is the Page of Swords. Think messenger, unwelcome news, legal documents, gossip, and confidence. The page resembles someone who is full of energy and ideas, eager to share. It suggests a new form of communication. There you go, Taurus. Now let's see what the Lenormand cards have to add. All right. Taurus, Taurus, Taurus on Sunday. Whoop! Look at that. We've got some energy popping here. The sparks are flying. These cards want to speak to you. Okay, let's give them a chance to speak. Your primary card is fish. Your defining card is stork. These cards speak to new business. Business changes. All right. Put these with your tarot card and see how Sunday goes for you, Taurus. This should be a good one. See you tomorrow. Hello, Gemini. Here we are. Sunday's up on us once again. And the tarot cards have something to say about it. All right. Here we 
we go. And your card is the Nine of Pentacles. Think luxury, prosperity, retirement, material stability, wellness, and health. The Nine is a sign of independence and wealth, perhaps luxury. It encourages enjoying the fruits of one's labors. There you go, Gemini. Now let's see what the Lenormand cards are just aching to add. Whoa, look at that. Sparks are flying. These cards are really wanting to talk today. Your primary card, man. Your defining card, tower. These cards speak to government official, male lawyer, tall man, arrogant man. Okay. Put your Lenormand cards with your tarot and see how Sunday goes, Gemini. See you tomorrow. Hi, Cancer. Here we go for Sunday. Sunday, Sunday. A nice, peaceful day. See what the cards have to say about this Sunday. Whoa, what are we doing here? Cards are leaping out of that. Wow, I guess they had a good breakfast. All right, let's see. Get you nicely embedded, get the cards calmed down. And your card is the King of Pentacles. Think masculine. Financially stable, content, educated, and conservative. The king is a symbol of great success and wealth. He uses financial wisdom to also create wealth for others. Well, Cancer, aren't you going to be the popular one? Let's see what the Lenormand cards have to add. Your primary card is snake. Your defining card, bouquet. These cards speak to positive resolution. Okay. Put your Lenormand cards with the tarot and see how Sunday works out, Cancer. I think it's going to be a great day. See you tomorrow. Welcome, Leo. Welcome to Sunday. Another beautiful Sunday. And the cards are here to help. Let's see what they have to tell. And your card is... The Queen of Wands. Think feminine, businesswoman, kind, leader, determined, and independent. The Queen represents someone who is confident and focused. The charisma of the Queen inspires others to be better. There you go, Leo. Now, let's see what the Lenormand cards have to say.
Your primary card, child. Your defining card, book. These cards speak to student pupil, clever child, school, secret child. Okay, Leo, put these with your tarot and have a lovely Sunday. See you tomorrow. Hello, Virgo. Here we are. Sunday happened again. And we're all ready with the tarot cards to see what's going on. All righty. And your card is the Two of Cups. Think partnership, good communication, enjoyment, new love, friendship, and joy. The two is a symbol of love or partnership between two people. The relationship is based on mutual feelings. Okay, Virgo, let's see what the Lenormand cards have to add. And your primary card, coffin. The defining card, clouds. These cards speak to mental illness, nervous breakdown. Oh my. Consider these cards with your tarot and do the best you can on Sunday. See you tomorrow. Hi, Libra. Let's see what Sunday has in store via the tarot cards. And here we go. Libra, Libra on Sunday. And your card is the lovers. This card is about choices, duality, and decisions that sometimes concern a love affair. It points to sudden and unexpected changes in a relationship, adjustments in your love life that work in your favor, a choice between security and some sort of personal risk. Part of the lover's work is to make us aware of the duality of our own natures and how it affects our close personal relationships. Think relationships, love relationship, partnership, communication, and choice. The lover's card obviously represents love, attraction, and relationships. The man and woman are symbolic of Adam and Eve in the Garden of Eden. Behind them are two trees of temptation with a serpent perched in the tree behind the woman. The serpent and trees are symbolic of temptation. Libra, let's see what the Lenormand cards have to add to that. And here we go. We're getting you nicely nestled into the Lenormand cards for Sunday. Your primary card, key. Your defining card, house. These cards speak to house key. True home, important house. 
There you go for Sunday, Libra. Have a lovely day. See you tomorrow. Welcome, Scorpio. It's Sunday. It's Sunday, and what do the cards have to say? Let's see. Scorpio, Scorpio, Scorpio on Sunday. Okay, let's get you mixed into the cards. Just as nice as can be. And your card is the King of Cups. Think masculine. Bachelor, artist, priest. Empathetic, quiet, emotional, and deep. The king represents full control of one's emotions and the ability to balance them with logic. It indicates someone who is mature and diplomatic. And with that, let's see what the Lenormand cards are just itching to add. And your primary card, snake. Your defining card, heart. These cards speak to romantic betrayal, cheating, seduction. Oh my. Consider these cards with your tarot and try to have a wonderful Sunday. See you tomorrow. Hi, Sagittarius. Let's see what's going on with Sunday for you. Get the cards rolling here. And see what they have to say. And your card is the Ten of Pentacles. Think legacy, wealth, family money, inheritance, traditions, and retirement. The Ten symbolizes a successful completion of a journey. The accumulated wealth can be enjoyed by the entire family. Hmm. Let's see what the Lenormand cards would like to add to that. All right, let's get you nicely embedded in the cards. The primary card, mountain. The defining card, bouquet. These cards speak to mountain resort, taking the scenic route. All right. Have a beautiful Sunday, Sagittarius. See you tomorrow. Hello, Capricorn. Here we are. Sunday is upon us. Let's see what's in store for you according to the tarot cards. And your card is the Queen of Wands. Think feminine, businesswoman, kind, leader, determined, and independent. The Queen represents someone who is confident and focused. The charisma of the Queen inspires others to be better. There you go, Capricorn. Now let's see what the Lenormand cards are just aching to add.
Whoa, look at that. These cars want to speak. Look at the sparks flying. The primary card is letter. The defining card, stars. These cards speak to celebrity press. Achievement certificate. Hmm. Put these with your tarot card and see what a great day Sunday is going to be. See you tomorrow. Hi Aquarius. Sunday. Sunday has come knocking on our door once again. And the tarot cards have a message for you. And your card is the Nine of Wands. Think discretion, fortification, wariness, caution, defense, and mistrust. This card is a representation of strength and resilience, even though difficult times have something that you've recently been through. It is a symbol of hope and encouragement. All right, Aquarius. Now, with that, let's see what the Lenormand cards have to add. Whoa, look at this. These cards are alive. Whoa. Look at the sparks fly. We need to calm them down a little. Whoa. Calm them down a little bit. All right. Your primary card, man. Your defining card, bear. These cards speak to protective man. Male manager, provider. Consider your the Norman cards with your tarot and have a beautiful Sunday, Aquarius. See you tomorrow. Hi, Pisces. Here we are. Sunday is on our doorstep. And the tarot cards are ready. Get you nicely embedded in the cards. Pisces on Sunday. Pisces on Sunday. Ho, ho, ho. Got, a, got some feisty cards here. And your card is the Hanged Man. Think transition. Postponed plans, a life in suspension, stagnation, and frustration. You need to do a 180 in how you perceive something. After all, a person hanging upside down doesn't just see the world in the same way as someone standing on the ground. Think sacrifice, restrained limitation, surrender, and new perspective. The hanged man is hanging upside down from a live tree, gaining a different perspective of the world. He is not suffering, but is rather calm and observant. The hanged man indicates the need to pause, look around, and be willing to surrender to new ideas. Surrender to new ideas, Pisces. That's the key point. Let's see what the Lenormand cards have to add.
All right. Pisces in the cards for Sunday. Your primary card is man. Your defining card, stars. These cards speak to male celebrity, hotshot, high flyer, alpha male, astronaut. You have a lovely Sunday, Pisces. See you tomorrow.